Patterns are common in graphic design. Many interesting patterns have some regular structure, but not simple grid-based repetition. Even though such patterns are often created as layered vector graphics, most patterns in the wild, for example found online or captured from the real world, are represented as flat images. Flattened representations are hard to work with. Even simple edits, like moving an element, can require a lot of tedious manual effort when we're working with raw pixels. For example, here we must fill the hole behind the moved leaf by manually copying and arranging pixels from other parts of the image. In contrast, such edits are much easier to perform when elements are segmented into separate graphical objects that are arranged in layers. To address this problem, we introduced a method to invert pattern images into layered representations. Our main contribution is a new differentiable compositing formulation that enables gradient-based optimization to reconstruct layered arrangements of elements from an image. Given an input image, the user crops out an image patch and mask for each type of element. We then run an optimization that solves for a set of elements with positions, orientations, and layering that reconstruct the input. Please see our paper for details. Once we have a layered representation, users can perform a variety of edits. For example, they can move individual elements, like this dinosaur. or select all instances of an element type and move them together. Since we reconstruct the layering relationships, occlusions and disocclusions are handled correctly, and users can easily apply different effects, like embossing to get a raised 3D appearance, halos to highlight specific elements, like these flowers, and drop shadows to emphasize which elements are above others. And since we have layered graphics, these effects are preserved as we transform elements. Users can also edit the appearance of elements, like changing these green leaves blue, or just replace elements with different images altogether. In this case, we replace the green leaves with red ones. While these edits are straightforward when working with layered representations, all of them are much harder to perform directly on flat pattern images. Differentiable compositing also allows us to optimize for any image-based loss. For example, optimizing for an image style loss enables applications like pattern expansion. In summary, we've introduced a new differentiable compositing function that makes it possible to invert pattern images into editable layered representations.